Yo, what's good? Tapping in again. Thank you to whoever's watching this for real. Still making me acutely relevant to whatever degree. As I'm sure you guys could probably tell from the thumbnail or title, whatever. This is a part two to my last video. I feel like I didn't cover a lot of the details that I thought at the time were small, but ended up being like pretty big. It wasn't rushed, but I was trying to make everything in that six minutes or less format, break everything down, make it simple, which I did, but nonetheless, it needed a part two and here it is. So the couple things people kind of brought to my attention from the last video that were either hard to understand or I didn't explain it well enough, probably the second one. But those two things were how to actually integrate the live cam models onto your website and how to receive payments or make money from the website, more or less how to capitalize from it, right? The two things kind of go hand in hand, so I'm going to start there. So the actual live cam models are integrated onto your website via something called an API. Now before I break down what an API is, this mysterious acronym, right? I just want to say you don't really need to know what it is like at all but just in case you guys do your research on it i know fucking google's gonna give you some sort of complicated definition that's hard to digest so i'm just gonna explain it to you myself but just remember you don't really have to know any of this so an api stands for application programming interface and in this case it relates to the software interface that is the live cam models so i'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering how do I attain these spooky, mysterious fucking APIs? Well, if you watched my last video and paid attention closely, link in the description by the way, you'll remember I briefly explained how brokers offer their live cam models completely free. I was basically saying in monkey explain terms, they offer their APIs free. And again, just to reiterate some of those brokers, in case you guys missed the last video, Chatterbait is the biggest one, Strip Cash, X Love Cash, Bonga Cash, the list goes on, but the ones I named are like the biggest ones. Incorporating these APIs onto your website are as simple as signing up and after creating a profile with any of those brokers I previously mentioned, they'll of course distribute to you the API key. Yes, this is the API. All you have to do is just copy and paste it into the back end of your website. This is pretty much why I was saying earlier, you don't really have to know what an API is or anything technical. It's literally as simple as copy and paste and bam, live cam titties and 720 pixels. Also, earlier in the video, I kind of quickly mentioned how integrating the actual live cam models goes hand in hand with the payment gateways. The reason I had said this is because the API doesn't just offer you live 24 seven fucking titties, but it also offers you payment gateways too. You see, by this point in the process, those brokers I keep on continuously mentioning every five fucking seconds go on to become more of your affiliates at this point. They're handling your payment gateways and also the whole product that is your website, right? I'm definitely making things sound a little bit too good to be true at this point. So let me stop the shenanigans. Those brokers that I keep on mentioning over and over. I don't even know what to call them anymore. But yeah, fucking chatterbait and all that shit. Those guys are gonna want money too their piece of the pie if you will this usually ranges from about 30 to 40 percent they end up taking from you and i know it sounds like a lot but these sites generate so much fucking profit that i feel like there's enough pie for everyone to go around and there's nothing wrong with having affiliates because if you tried to do this shit on your own it'd be a fucking jungle so i'm actually really grateful and for whoever thinks that sounds like a bad deal, the whole 30 to 40% of profits being taken away, let me explain like the two benefits. So they actually give you something called rev share. Rev share is essentially lifetime payments from titties. That's literally what it is. I mean, in this context, at least fucking Google it if you want. 
And the second thing is, too, also, since they're like your affiliates and whatnot, and literally handling all your payment gateways and shit, after you create the website and set up all your payment shit, all you have to do is just sit there and get paid. And you can you can get paid in crypto. I'll, I'll keep it I'll keep it at that. My boy's over here laughing in the background. <laughs> this point of the process is called nut scratch territory. Like I said, you have the affiliates handling pretty much everything for you. All you have to do is just make sure your site is up and money is going to be in your pocket. Granted that you have the correct protocols for SEO in place, right? So you're drawing traffic to the site. Huge factor. You're not just going to make money. You have to have customers actually tipping the models, right? Fuck. It feels so good to have finally explained that. I really don't know what I was thinking leaving all that information out of the last video. But now that I got all that shit out of the way, I wanted to talk more about backlinks. More so like how to detect what they are when you see them, and also white labels too. I really just kind of want to point out what this shit is, that way when you guys go to watch your fucking, your porn or whatever it is the fuck you guys watch, <laughs> you can kind of see the virtual monopoly, the virtual whorehouse that is taking place before you. Obviously I can't really show any examples, but I want you guys to kind of see porn differently, right? So backlinks are heavily used by white labels. How can you tell what a backlink is? So if you're ever scrolling through some fucking porno, if we all do it, and you're looking for something specific on like a porn website, right? Of course you have to scroll through and find the specific video. Now the way to tell if it's a backlink is after you click that video, you'll be redirected to another site where you actually watch the video. The reason why it's called a backlink is because it redirects you to the parent site or the white label, right? The site where you would actually watch the video you had intended to actually watch. And just like that, in a couple clicks from your horny ass, somebody just made a couple bucks. Welcome to cyber prostitution. And that's how a lot of these porn websites thrive in the SEO department and have these super high rankings. And yes, that's a thing. If you ever want to check a website's rating or ranking, whatever the fuck you want to call it, there's something called a Rhino rank, and you can see how good the domain is. Considering the fact that Google tends to generally rank these sites based off of how useful the Google algorithm finds the website to its users, you could probably imagine, yeah, adult website rankings only go so high, but regardless, I still think it's pretty arbitrary, but it'll still give you an idea of like what's going on, right? How juicy the domain you're working with is. But that's about all I got for you guys today. All I really wanted to cover. Go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to see more. Would really help keep me motivated. And if you want to say what's up, make sure to hop in the Discord. I'm always looking to collaborate with coders, video editors, graphic designers, like-minded people in general. Go ahead and also follow me on Insta too. I'm done shilling myself. Thank you guys so much for tapping in. Have a great day. Peace.